Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're gonna be slaying this gorgeous bob wig courtesy of Royal Me. So this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. I'm definitely feeling the color. I feel like it's a really, really nice pick me up during this time and this weather. This daylight savings has been kicking my butt and I feel like this is just giving me a little bit of mm. Here's a back shot of what the wig looks like and also an inside construction of the cap shot. Now this one is a 13 by 6 T-part wig. The T-part wigs have been super popular these days, especially with the lace shortage that's going on all over the world. And then here's another shot of what the hairline looks like. As you guys can see, this is literally as good as it gets with the hairline. Not only are the knots bleached, they also pre-plucked the wig and then the hairline is super amazing. The lace is amazing. You can definitely see through it like scalp. So it, this is going to be a bomb install. Also, I want you guys to get a load of the color and don't forget to wear your heat protectant. I'm actually adding a little bit of wax stick on top. We're going pretty fast. But as I was saying before, I really, really love the color on this one. Now, this wig does come in four colors, I believe, on the website. I do have a direct link to this one in the description box for you guys to check out. It's 10 inches, 150% density. And as you guys can see, they set it off with some beautiful blonde highlights. Not only is it in the front, like at the very very front but it's also underneath if you pay attention and I love how it complements the chocolate brown color of hair also I love the cut and how it sits on my shoulders and everything about this one was just nice there was no excess tangling no shedding no you know crazy smells and it also took well to the hot comb and flat iron now, as I always mention, if you are a beginner or just really, really want to take your time with your wig, take it off your head, put it on a wig head, and you can definitely take your time when it comes to styling as far as getting, you know, like underneath and the bottom row or layer of hair whenever you flat iron. That's definitely an option, but I'm just kind of showing you what I did for this one, and you're going to see it comes out super flat, super sleek silky a nice silk press i also like to go in with the electric hot comb not only in the parting but also around the hairline and as you guys can see i like to do this before i bond the wig down because i kind of will lift the wig off of my head kind of away from my face as much as i can that way i can get in there and get a good hard press in without you know jeopardizing my skin and ruining or burning myself <music> As far as cutting off the excess lace, I did find myself accidentally going into the hair and cutting a little bit of areas where there is hair. That's because the lace was so flawless and seamless. It definitely blended with my skin so well that I it was kind of hard to see, you know, like where it stopped and started. So that was a little bit of a mistake that I made, but it definitely, you know, didn't do a bad thing. Like I didn't really cut too bad into the lace, but just be aware of the fact that the lace is going to blend so good with your skin that you're not going to need to tint the lace but you also want to be careful when it comes to cutting off the excess lace Now this is definitely a glueless install. I used a holding hairspray instead of a glue. This is gonna protect my hairline and it's also going to be, you know, easier to switch out my wigs if I wanna switch out tomorrow because you guys know I switch out my wigs often. I blow dry with a cool setting and as you guys can see, again, another mistake I made all because the lace is so flawless. I did not bring that um, holding spray up far enough. So easy fix, I just added a little bit more and I was able to bond that down. So Super nicely and then now I'm gonna do the sides as well also when it comes to blow drying be sure to blow dry like if it if it feels like it's dry continue to blow dry for another whole minute because you really really want it to bond down and suction onto your head and this is pretty much the results you guys can see how flawless this hairline looks and again I did nothing I didn't bleach the knots I didn't tint the lace I didn't pluck anything out and everything is super perfect <music> I know you guys see how flawless this hairline looks. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to definitely go in and add a little bit of powder. And you're going to see how beautiful it's going to look when I get rid of that slight white cast that you guys see. It's going to look so, so, so good. Now, 
Now I'm going to go in and finesse the hairline. Now I opted for no baby hair in the center. I really wanted to show off how beautiful the hairline is and how it's very, very, very seldom that I find a wig that you really, really don't see that line of demarcation as much. So I did go in a little bit on the side just because you guys know I got to have a little something, something. But in the center, I kept it pretty much smooth and no baby hair. But you're going to see I'm going to add a little bit of edge control and kind of give a little bit of an edges effect and kind of just design it a little bit I don't know I don't like the straight back look you know as much so I kind of swooped it a little bit you really can't tell but again I just got to do something now you guys know my OG favorite style which is my mom's favorite style is the feather I did go on the side and do the feather and it looks super beautiful now that I'm editing the video I wish I can go back in I should have feathered the opposite side as well because it does look a little bit off centered so if you're gonna do a feather bang like this I would highly recommend going in with a deeper side part so that it you know kind of like looks even and centered or if you're gonna have a part like mine going in and doing a side part or not the side part but the feather on both sides hopefully that makes sense but other than that it did come out good you kind of just go in with the flat flat iron and kind of like back not back comb it but like back flat iron it, if that makes any sense and it's a super simple process I didn't add any holding spray in the curl or feather held up really really nicely but you know I just think it was a cute little touch last but not least we're gonna go into that hairline I know you guys can see at certain angles it looks perfect and then at other angles it kind of gives that white cast kind of like when you do your under eye highlight and you put the wrong setting powder or you don't blend it out um, so I just went in with a powder and that fixed that up really good again I did not tweeze or pluck anything out and it looks flawless also check the description box for a coupon code mine is Ashley you can enter that at checkout and you'll get money off Okay, so this one came from Royal Me. I decided to switch it up. A lot of times I'll start off with the unboxing, but I feel like that is distracting. If you are someone who is here for the hair, you don't want to see like the packaging and all these other things. You just want to get straight into the hair and see the rest of that later if you're interested. So I'm going to be switching it up. I'm going to start off with the hair. So whenever you see my videos, it'll start off immediately with hair but this is the packaging again it came from royal meat and then of course they gave some goodies which is pretty much just some clips and these are the clips here so what i'll say about this one it is a highlighted bob wig i love the color matchup they did the blonde with the nice chocolate brown sometimes i do blonde with black which i do like that too but it's a nice switch up because obviously the blonde and the brown complement each other more and it kind of makes for a more gradient effect opposed to like blonde and black as far as the length goes, I love the way it hits my shoulders. Now, if I were to wear this one every day, I probably would gradually get it to above my shoulder just because I like to switch it up. And that's one of the fun things about it. You start off with a longer bob and you can go up to a shorter bob over time, especially once the wig starts to get old. Instead of just throwing it away, like recut it and play with it, you know? I did pull out my old Babyless Flat Iron. I've been using the new one that I got when I was in Missouri, but this one is so much better. Like, there's nothing wrong with the other one. I love that one too, but this one is just my favorite. I've been rocking with this one for like four or five years, and I only use it on myself, but it has gotten really, really, really worn, so I think I'm going to treat myself to another one of those, because honestly, with the other one, I was being cheap. I didn't want to spend the same amount of money on that one, but as far as the hair Super
so much for watching. I'm Ashley, if you didn't already know. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.